Hey everyone, this is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. So guys, today I am celebrating my kids' birthday. I have two kids, two children who were born on August 19th. But guess what? They are 10 years apart. As a mother, it's um, it's difficult when August 19 arrives. To me, it's, it's a day for me to rejoice. And I try as much as possible to make sure that Darwin is okay on his birthday. Cynthia is not here with us physically, but emotionally. She's celebrating this day with us. It's not an easy thing because you, as a mother, I personally am thinking, okay, let's just, let this just be all about Darwin because he is here. Then on the other hand, I'm asking myself, am I just forgetting about Cynthia because she is no longer with us physically? It's, it's so hard. When August... The month of August used to be the most happiest month in my life because I know I'm celebrating two birthdays for my kids. I'm still happy. And I'm, I'm happy because God gave me the opportunity to have Cynthia. He gave me the opportunity to have Darwin. So I'm here with, you know, in my heart, I'm celebrating my two kids. But it's such a difficult time for me. Um, one thing that is keeping me going is the Lord. Prayers. Thanking Him for the years that we all spent with Cynthia. And I'm thanking Him for good health that Darwin has. It's, it's scary. On the 19th of August that morning I started feeling contraction I called my midwife she's like okay better come in went to the hospital and after several hours <laughs> Cynthia was still sleeping and I had to call the house and said the baby is here and she just started screaming and crying and just laughing and just doing you know you could hear the excitement on her voice that finally her baby brother came on her birthday and that was her wishes. I also recall a family in, in Michigan um, when the, um, this young lady was pregnant, Cynthia would tell her, Auntie, I want the baby to come. No, no, we, we went over to visit her and um, I asked, when is the baby due? She said in August. And Cynthia just jumped up and said, oh, let the baby come on my birthday. I said, oh, Cynthia, hold on here. This is what you did for me when I was pregnant with Darwin, you, you know. And she just said that. And the, 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 her auntie said, Cynthia, I cannot control this just like I, I had told Cynthia. And guess what? August 19, she had the baby and what did she do she called me early in the morning and said auntie debbie i just got the baby i said are you serious she said yes where is cynthia i said cynthia is right beside me she said auntie pass the phone over to cynthia i want cynthia to give to name the baby's name and cynthia just said destiny so Destiny is uh, a lady now, and uh, a beautiful lady, Destiny. Hey Destiny, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to Darwin, happy birthday to Cynthia. So this is what I'm going through today. I am rejoicing, I'm so happy, but as a mother, maybe someone who is viewing me who is watching this channel today 
how would you celebrate this? Some told me, let it just be Darwin. Some said, just celebrate both. But guess what, in my heart, I am celebrating my two kids' birthdays today, including destiny. It hurts that Cynthia is not here physically, but spiritually, emotionally, she's here. I am celebrating her birthday. Darwin, I am so happy. And I thank God, and I'm begging him to just keep on giving you more, 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 more years to come. You're a handsome man, a handsome young man. I'm so proud of you, my son. I love you, and I am wishing you a very happy birthday. All of us in the family are sending you a birthday hug. You are over there in Europe. I'm just praying that everything God guides you, keep on protecting you. And just cherish every moment that you have. I love you. And again, happy birthday. So I this morning I went to Cynthia's graveside. I cleaned it, put some flowers, took some balloons. It was hard. I give all my thanks to God because he's giving me the strength every day to keep on moving, keep on moving. She's not here with us, but today in our household, we are celebrating two birthdays. So happy birthday to you, Cynthia. It is, um, it is hard. I recall when, um, when they were young and um, I took them for their doctor's visit, took the kids, all of them, the doctor's visit and the um the receptionist she called me i was sitting with the kids we were all sitting there and she called she's like miss debbie can you come here for a second please so i got up i went and i'm like what's wrong she said oh i'm looking at the insurance card you have cynthia august 19 i'm darwin august 19 is it um i think it's an error i said no it's not an error and she looked at me like what i said no it's not an error is that's their birthday so they were 11 years apart um and that's it so i'm so grateful i'm so happy i'm so excited because of what god gave me and what he has been doing for me um just protecting me giving me the strength the courage allowing me to tell my story if someone had told me four years ago that I'll be sitting here just telling you about me, my family. I would say, oh no, that's not me. But this August will be four years that I haven't seen my baby physically. That I see her every day. I hear her voice. I, I call her name. I talk to her. I'm excited. I am fortunate. I'm so grateful that I came a long way. I am. Uh, I thought to myself, let me share this day with my audience. Maybe there's a mother, there's a father, there's somebody out there with this same situation that I have. Two kids who were born on the same month, same, same date. One is deceased and one is alive. How do you do this? But guess what? I am so happy. And again, like I said, I'm just thanking God for giving me the strength, for giving me the opportunity to tell my story to others. I went over to Cynthia's grave. I cleaned it. I put some more flowers and just sat there, put some balloons and celebrated her birthday with me. It was hard, it was painful, but that's my new life. But just to to tell my viewers that life is something that we have to appreciate because 
we don't know the next second. Some people will say, oh, you don't know the next day. No, it's not the next day to me. It's the next second. So the closer we are with our families, siblings, friends, those that we love, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to cherish. I have to call Darwin on the phone and wish him a happy birthday. Daddy again, happy birthday and many, many, many more years to come. Have fun, enjoy yourself. We thank God for you. We love you and just be who you are. You are a wonderful, handsome, looking young man my handsome son happy birthday to you and there's so many the millions of families and millions of mothers just like me i know exactly what you're feeling i know exactly what you're going through your story is my story we have a story to share and that's why autumn one day one mother was created because every mother has a story every family has a story and this is my story please do not forget to subscribe like share share your comments click that notification button so that each time when I upload, you'll be the first to know. And I would love to hear from my viewers ideas of other videos that you would like me to do. If you have a question, please do not hesitate to ask on the comment box because this is a community. Welcome to my world. It's a life-changing moment. Again, this is Debbie from One Day, One Mother, celebrating August 19th my both kids, Darwin and Cynthia. Happy birthday. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Mm -hmm.